What is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can get easy wins in Fortnite Chapter 3. I'm going to go over where you should land, what you should be using in your inventory, how you want to play the game, and how you want to approach fights in Chapter 3. If you guys do find this video helpful or informative, remember to give it a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more and comment down below what you would like to see a video on next. I make Fortnite Battle Royale content pretty much every day, usually informative and driven to help you get better at the game. I also stream on Twitch, which will be linked down in the description below. But in today's video, it's going to be somewhat broad because we're going to be going over a lot of things in somewhat of a short time span and how you can get more wins in Chapter 3. So for starters, I think one of the best places to land this season is actually going to be Sanctuary. And there's a number of reasons why. Number one, it has a lot of loot and not that many people go there for whatever reason. There's a lot of spots on this map where you can go and kind of get uncontested, a lot of unnamed locations, the vaults. I know the llama drop is a spot that a lot of people like going to, although it is somewhat contested for like how how good it actually is in terms of loot. Sanctuary has a lot of loot and it's rarely contested and it also has access to a lot of materials. There's lots of trees and lots of large rocks around here, which is very nice. So I think in terms of like difficulty to loot ratio sanctuary is definitely up there which is surprising because this is a mythic poi and we will get to that later on it also has spider-man spawns ne near it which i will have on screen now i think it's best to loot a bit and then rotate to the spider-man spawn and then maybe even rotate back to sanctuary because the spider-man mythic web slingers is really sought after at this point in time and it's one of the more important items in the game when once we get into how you're going to play and how you're going to rotate you're definitely going to want the spider-man mythic so that's another reason why i recommend sanctuary it's usually uncontested has a lot of loot it's good on mats and it's near a spider-man spot and you can also get the mythic assault rifle if you choose to which is one of the most broken items in the game right now along with the spider-man so sanctuary is really overpowered i don't know why a lot of people are sleeping on this location i would imagine in competitive or arena it is a little more contested but just for solo pubs i feel like i rarely see that many people coming here so i cannot recommend sanctuary enough and if you do have any sort of trouble killing the rock to get the foundation's mythic AR, AR, you could just build up and then harpoon him and kill him with fall damage. I should have had a clip playing on that right now, but it will also be linked down in the description below because I have a clip of it on my shorts channel. So you can kind of cheese the rock, get the mythic AR, get a lot of loot to yourself, get the Spider-Man web slingers. I think Sanctuary is one of the best POIs in the game. So now that you have the mythic AR and the Spider-Man web slinger, what else do you want to carry in your inventory? I've been running... AR, Spider-Man, Shotgun, SMG, and then Heals. You'll see that pretty much in all of the clips I'm showing in the background here. I pretty much always run Shotgun, SMG, AR, Heals, and then Spider-Man. Uh, with the Spider-Man, you can't really run double heals effectively because I think the Spider-Man is definitely worth carrying. So you're going to want some sort of fast heal this season. I know a lot of people do like carrying big pots, but minis, I think, are the way to go. Or chug splashes, you can usually get a lot of them. Or Slurpfish, even if you can find a bunch. It, I wouldn't really recommend carrying floppers because you are going to want some sort of shield item. And with how I set my inventory up, I can't carry double heals. And I feel like you definitely want the SMG. In the past, I would give up my SMG to be able to carry extra heals or mobility. But with how the meta is this season and how ineffective the shotguns are, I think you definitely are going to want to run the SMG. So we're kind of constricted on our inventory this season. But that's what I've been running for a majority of my wins. And then for how you want to play the game, you just want to rotate dead side, rotate in the way that is going to give you the least opposition. If you do not understand what that means, if you have a zone that's edge, you want to play from the edge. So let's say you have a zone um, that's on the far right side of the map and you're on the left side of the map. You want to rotate to play from the far right side of the map because a majority of people are going to be coming from the center of zone. I should have had a picture explaining it on screen now like with paint. But yeah, you want to rotate dead side and try your best to avoid fights. It's really hard to fight one person this season. So if you're just trying to get wins, I would recommend taking as few fights as possible. Uh, fights go on for a really long time in Chapter 3 because of how ineffective the shotguns are. And with the Spider-Man web slingers, it's really easy for other people to get to you and third party you. Uh, this season or this chapter so far has been really, really third party centric. So if you're only playing for wins and that's all you care about, you really do not want to be fighting at all. Just rotate dead side, try to stay out of fights and just get as much mats as you can. And a lot of people take fights that they don't necessarily need to take. If you're only playing for wins, there's not really any need to fight prior to like moving zones because the game is going to get to that point anyways. You know, if zone, if the game is going to end in zone seven, for example, there's no point in you fighting in zone 4 and 5 if all you're car caring about is wins. Obviously, if you want to get a lot of kills, it's different. But if you're only concerned about wins, you don't really need to fight until it's the last person alive. So that's probably your best bet if you do want to get easy wins in Chapter 3 is rotate dead side of zone. 
try to remain uncontested save your material because if other people are fighting they're going to be using up their material and then you're going to be able to out rotate them and outplay them in end game without even having to actually fight them uh if you're fresh on mats like like you have max everything and the other guy has 200 brick and 300 wood you're going to be able just to play rotations and moving zone and just beat this person outright so that's what you want to do to your the best of your ability just remain out of fights remain low profile play for end game play for rotations you only need to kill the last person or the last few people in order to actually win the game and pretty much every kill you get before that is pointless in terms of getting the win i usually try to get a decent amount of kills but if all you're concerned about is winning you do not need to be fighting it's best to save your mats it's best to save your heals it's best to save your ammo for the final person that way you have more options in the fight than that person the less mats you have the less heals you have the less ammo you have that results in having less options in the fight so yeah that's it this season also the mk if you do have the mythic one it's really op and it's going to allow you to kill people that you shouldn't especially if you're in a situation where it's you and two others and they end up fighting you can third party that really easily with the mythic ar so that's another reason to go sanctuary but even if you don't feel like killing the foundation and getting the mythic the normal mk7 is just fine so yeah like I said, at the start of this video, you're going to want to land Sanctuary. You're going to make sure you get the Spider-Man Web Slinger. You want to loot up. You're probably going to be uncontested in Sanctuary and pubs. Uh, at least I am a majority of the time, pretty much every time I go there. I've been thinking about making this video for a while, and I've kind of been going Sanctuary intermittently just to see like how contested it is on average. And it is pretty much never contested for me. Every time I go there, I pretty much get it to myself, maybe one or two other people. But for the size of that POI, it's actually really, really good because Sanctuary is one of the largest POIs in the game. So... Yeah, it's going to give you a lot of loot options and you're going to have the Spider-Man Mythic really close by that you're going to be able to get. And then the Spider-Man Mythic is just going to give you a lot of options in terms of rotation. And this is going to allow you to stay out of fights as much as possible and rotate to the safer sides of the zone. So yeah, if you guys did find this helpful or informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.